Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now I am reading the question. Consider the circuit shown in the figure. The potential difference between points A and B is. And the given options are option A 6 volts, option B 8 volts, option C 9 volts and option D 12 volts. So there is a circuit given here. In this particular circuit there are two points A and B. In between these two points, there are parallel branches, two parallel branches. First is having a battery or we can say a cell of 12 volts and having a series resistance of 1 ohm. And the second parallel path is having 6 volt battery with 0 0.5 ohms of a resistor in a series. So this is the given circuit and we have to find out the potential difference between these two points. So to calculate the potential difference between these two points, uh, we have to calculate first the potential difference across the resistor, across any resistor. If we calculate the potential difference across one ohm resistor, then this potential difference plus this potential difference, with the help of this, we can calculate VAB. VAB means the potential difference between the point A and B. And similarly, we can calculate the potential difference between A and B by the voltage across this. So we take any path, either this path or this path. But to calculate the voltage across this 1 ohm resistor or the 0 0.5 ohm resistor, we have to calculate the value of the current flowing in it. The value of current flowing in it. So to calculate the value of current flowing in it, because this current is common, this current is common in this particular resistor, this battery, this battery, this battery, this is in this particular manner. This battery is having a higher voltage of 12 volt, 12 is greater than 6. It means that the direction of the current, we can certainly say that it is the uh, anti-clockwise direction. So to calculate the current, the current is the total effective voltage. Total effective voltage is 12 minus 6 because this is plus n, this is plus n. So these two batteries are opposing each other. So current is voltage total voltage upon total resistance because these two resistors are in series if we take this loop for this particular loop these two resistors are in series so the total effective resistance is 1 plus 0 0.5 so in this way we have applied the ohm's law ohm's law states that v equals to y r or we can say that i equals to v upon r so total v upon total r so in this way this comes out to be 6 12 minus 6 is 6 and 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5 so this value comes out to be 4 amperes so a current of 4 ampere flows in this particular loop in a in an anti-clockwise manner so when this current passes through these two rest, uh, resistors the voltage generated is across this resistor the voltage is v equals to ir according to the formula so i is 4 4 into 0 0.5 is 2 volts Similarly, we can calculate the voltage across this particular resistor. 4 ampere is the current flowing in it. This is plus and this is minus and because when the current enters any passive element, passive element means resistor, then at the end at which enters is treated as the positive end. So this is positive end, the current leaving here, this, this is the negative end. So voltage of V equals to IR, V means uh, I is 4 and R is 1. So V is 4 into 1 means 4 volts. So 4 volt is the voltage across this resistor. Now this is a simple situation. This is a 12 volt battery in series. If there is a resistor having a voltage of plus minus 4 volt and this is an A, this is an B. So we have to calculate VAB that is the voltage across AB. So this comes out to be 12 minus 4 because this is minus this is minus 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 means same polarities are writing so in this way these are opposing voltages this 4 volt and 12 volt are opposing voltages so this comes out to be 12 minus 4 which is equal to 8 volts so in this way we have calculated the voltage between point a and b so 8 volt is the final answer so option b is the correct answer here so hope you understand the problem thank you